I think it would take some time to, to to really get the gel going between some of these players. And I think for me, it's like you have Peter Dunn, you want to develop them. But it seems like we're already into the draft. And the first mm -hmm. thing I just want to pay attention to so far is Fnatic has been very adamant, and I said this yesterday as well, very adamant at using majority of their bands purely on bot laners yeah. and set their own bot lane up for success. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Delusion is not the only kind of bot lane band we'll be seeing. And Ash is uh, following up. Here. Yeah, probably they will ban Yumi. I'm kind of curious what happens with Fnatic if they are faced with a Varus ban, because I think if Ash is out, Yumi is out, Lucian is out, uh, what is going to happen in a case where Varus is out too, because it's been the go-to for Reckless, of course, and then Jack Spectra maybe has more room to pull out the champs that are like Callista and Draven, which yeah. he really, really enjoys, and that can create a lot of volatility around both. Kind of hoping Team Retics go for the Varus ban on three, maybe they invite the Rise, because Ruby can play Cassia into it, and then we'll just see after what, what happens. Uh, I think a Yumi ban. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there you have it. It's a classic. And uh, I think as well, just uh, from going off what we saw uh, Reckless on yesterday as well, like coming through with that Barrys, he looked very comfortable on it. Um, had this solo kill on Patrick. Uh, and I also think that just in general, it's just a really cookie cut a clean AD carry to get in this uh, mm -hmm. meta. You never really struggle. You get these in laning phase and the scaling is up to par with you as well. So let's see if Heretics goes through with your call here, Yamato. Yeah, and Rise of Varus, I guess will be the question. Oh, Sichuani instead, okay. So what do you open with here? I think Varus first pick, you just have to. There you go. Um, I think it's such a simple way of having a bot lane that's going to be consistent, and uh, that's been the main uh, question mark for Fnatic. Uh, make sure that the bot lane is consistent and they get to the... Oh, point. there we have it! Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't miss. Not a single time. He does not fit. Yeah, because Sante not banned either, so there's an opportunity <laughs> later to do that. And three, I don't suspect we'll see it in the first rotations. Usually we see AD carry be paired up with a jungler to come through as well, and the jungle pool is being diminished as well. Zeri, but no Yumi then. Lulu? Lulu, Lulu could Lulu still maybe, be yeah. available. It is usually the bot lane we see. Yumi and Siva, usually the two we pair together, and then you get the Zeri and the Lulu together down there. There's could be a reason to already take away the Lulu because Lulu Varus is actually quite potent as well if you want to go down that route. But they're securing the Wukong on Yankers with already two junglers banned away. I wonder here if Fnatic are going to drop support to just invite the Lulu and then just play an all in support for Rocks in the shape of Leona, Nautilus, and Mumu because I think that's where he's going to be super, super comfortable. Maybe just lock in your Azir or your Rise and then your jungle, drop support together with top and hope that you get the Kesante invitation to then counter pick it because I think that's such a powerful part about the red side. But Team Heretics really like the case, aren't they? So. Yeah, another player I think has really been shining on Heretics very quietly, though, has been Ruby. I think him on Control Mages has actually had some phenomenal highs, and especially on DSC as well. So you're put in this position now where it's like, well, you have to decide. Do you go for some of the supports and wait for that to be trimmed out? Or do you value the fact that, you know, if you're not picking a Seer here on three for Ruby into the Rise, it's going to be banned away and Ruby will come through with the Seer. But then you have issues uh, pairing Zeri with a viable support, maybe? I think the main question will be now if uh, Fnatic recognize that they have to remove Renata and Braum because yeah. if Team Heretics want to last pick support and they're going to challenge Rux uh, in terms of what he's going to be playing, if he's put on a range support again, I feel like that doesn't really follow uh, the line of thinking that Fnatic kind of approached uh, the previous game where they had the Nautilus and had more success with that. Of course, Gregas is out. Yeah, so you don't that, want to let Wonder. I mean, you're not gonna let Wonder <laughs> get that on weak side, I especially if you know that Team Reddicks want to come through with a fourth pick on the support. You know, you're not gonna have that counter pick on top side. So just taking away some of the weak siders here is a good decision. And Renata, as you already mentioned, has been banned away. I'm still expecting uh, Lunas come through as the last base ban just to come through uh, for the side of Paddock to really take away all the good lane parents that you would usually see on the side of uh, of Azari. Yeah, I think I think the danger still is like if if they really want to go for the melee support, I think they kind of want to invite the Lulu. I think that the Braum is what becomes dangerous there on 5 if they pick it. Team Heretics, with this Gragas ban, I think they might just look for a Jax on 4, and if Jax gets banned, just pick Kaysanze right after that and 5 pick support. Lots of power picks still available as well, and lots of theories being thrown out of the room here, so really up to Fnatic to see which one of them is going to stay above the water. It's Ooh, actually going to be the Jax, yeah. so that comes through the thought process that you were kind of allowing there as well, Yamato, with some of these champions still being available. Of course, both Kasante and Lulu now available if if that's what you're really looking for, and really up to Team Radix to see where did they put that counter pick position, and it is going to go all the way down to the support pick. And we saw a lot of answers to Kasante, so which one is Fnatic going to take you? I think we probably will see a Gwen. Wonder really likes the Gwen, and uh, we saw it do super, super well in the previous game. It's a, it's a classic that Wanda likes to go to. Maybe he goes for just a little tank to keep it simple, but uh, it is. Uh, maybe just a Gwen, a Leona to round it off. The enemy is going to buy MR, but uh, that's perfectly fine. You right. allow Ooh. it. 
If you no. go for the hard engage option though, that is where you might find the disengage to come through with the Braum as well, to have that availability on five as well. Question is now, what do you feel like that Reckless wants to pair up with the Rocks? Because you have the hard engage options. You already have some decent hard engage to come through as well. Leona though, is a power pick from Rocks. We saw it how he performed on it on Worlds as well. It was one of his comfort picks. It has been for the longest times as well in DRLs too. And now it's really on Heretics. Do you just say, all right, we'll try and go into it with has the hard to engage to come through? Or do you feel like you want to go for the disengage with a Braum on five? It has to be Braum. Braum Braum is so, so good here. Uh, Gwen can fight back, of course, but Braum is so good into all of the champions that are being shown here. There's no other option. This is such a juicer here on 5-pick. Bro, are you a coach or something? <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed. <Really? laughs> <laughs> all right. So where are we